Hello everyone and welcome to this new video on a tip on how to document your own custom functions using Power Query for Power BI Desktop. Now with the uh, new version of Power BI Desktop, you have the uh, ability to actually uh, basically load custom connectors. And I'm gonna show you this custom connector that I created uh, for YouTube Analytics. I'm just gonna click on this YouTube Analytics connector and show you the experience, which is really similar to the ones that we're really familiar with. So you see here that I have a navigator. Uh, you have some tables that you can actually just click and you see what data is actually, or I can actually get from this uh, connector, the videos, uh, what countries are actually, uh, as I mentioned, of, of the YouTube analytics and more information about my channel. But then I have this four functions. So I'm just gonna click on this one that says daily subscribers and you're just gonna click on edit so you can see what is different uh, from me just creating a function inside Power Query or just the regular Power BI desktop. And as you can tell, the, the actual uh, documentation or examples that I actually have are different from when I actually create a function inside uh, uh, Power BI Desktop or just Power Query overall because I have now the name of the function up here, a description of the function, I have an example for this function and also an output of how that, uh, what I can actually get from this function once I actually invoke it. So everything that you see on this screen was created manually. I had to actually create uh, all of this, add all of this information inside my custom connector, but the code uh, can possibly be used in Power BI Desktop as well. I haven't tried it, but it seems like it can actually be done. And if you're trying to create a custom connector and create uh, an experience uh, where people can actually feel comfortable with your custom connector or your functions inside your custom connectors, they will be really great if you can actually create an output table, just to give people an example. And by an output table, I mean this code that we have up here, down here, sorry. So I'm just gonna copy this code. I'm gonna click on the FX to create a new custom step. And I'm just gonna replace everything in there except the equal sign and I'm just going to paste, paste what I had in the output code. And as you can see, I have a table which is similar to the one that I will be getting if I actually call or use this function. So I have a country code, I have a day, which is simply a date, subscribers gain and subscribers lost. Now I'm going to go back because I want to show you that this table was created manually. I had to write everything that you actually see in here. And after a few times, I actually got tired of them because I had more uh, uh, functions that I needed to document. So that was something to take in consideration. I didn't want to do this manually and you shouldn't either. Uh, if you actually have your function, it's actually working, you should just be able to grab the output of that function and transform it into this code that we have in the output. That's probably the best way. So I, I created this code that I'm gonna show you in a bit to do just that. Grab the output of this function. Before we actually do that, I need to invoke this function using those two parameters, the start date of the report and the end date. Let's click on invoke and we're going to have the result. And while this is actually loading because it's getting the data from the YouTube analytics API, I'm going to show you that I created this uh, formula or this function that you can use. So I'm just going to click on raw here. Uh, you can click on the link in the description below to get to this page specifically. And you're going to grab the one that says PQ sample table. So I'm just going to control C on that, go back to Power BI desktop, and I'm going to now create a new blank query so I can paste this code. So create a blank query, go to view, go to the advanced editor, delete everything, just copy and paste it. You're going to have to delete this semicolon at the end. 
and then you're gonna have to delete this PQ sample table and the equal sign and just click done. You're gonna rename this from query one to be PQ sample table just to give them a name. And now in this output table, what this function needs is actually a table. Any of these tables that we actually have in here, you can just pass it just like this, just invoke it and it actually creates the code that you need. You can try it. Uh, so let's go to the FX. You just control, sorry, uh, press enter, copy paste it and press enter and that uh, you actually see uh, the data right here. Uh, we can actually go back. You know what? I want to change. Uh, let's not use the invoke function. Let's go with the H gender summary. So let's click on that. Okay. And we have this table. Let's create a custom step just to show you that it created that just for me. So age group, gender, and beer percentage. If we go to the age gender summary, that is exactly what we're getting. And what it's actually doing is grabbing just the top two. Uh, you can change it so it can actually be the top, uh, top three. It can be top five rows. It's completely up to you. So this is the number that we have. So top two, we can get the top five, for example. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. And there we go. So now it's actually getting the top five. Go back to this one. Paste it. And now we actually got, got it. So this is something that if you're creating a custom connector, this will be extremely helpful for you. So you can get, just document your functions that you actually have in there. Or if you want to document your actual uh, parameters or anything like that, uh, then you can actually do it with this table. Or if you want to do any type of table documentation, uh, you can just use this uh, function. Uh, and I hope that this is something that you find useful and let me know if you have any suggestions. Thanks.